I was rereading The Thin Man by Dashiell Hammett, first pocket edition, 1942 humble brag, when I came across a peculiar passage. Early in the book, the thin man of the title is missing and his secretary has been murdered. Everyone wants to know if famous detective Nick Charles is going to take the case, including his wife Nora, but Nick considers himself retired at this point and wants to focus on managing Nora's money. About 5 a.m. on Christmas morning, Nora wakes him up to pester him about the case. She's also hungry and has Nick call an all-night deli to order her some food. A raw chopped beef sandwich with a lot of onion and some coffee. Now, aside from the logistics of ordering delivery at 5 a.m. Christmas morning, what the hell is a raw chopped beef sandwich? And do I want one? Also known as a cannibal sandwich, they consist of fresh raw beef on rye bread topped with chopped onion and salt and pepper. They're popular in the upper Midwest, but especially in Wisconsin, where the tradition was brought over by German immigrants in the 1800s. They are considered a Christmas tradition, which is probably why Nora wants it on Christmas morning, but there's no mention of how the daughter of a rich San Francisco industrialist developed a taste for it, and Hammett was from Baltimore, so no clue there. Perhaps he was attracted to the danger because even Wisconsin's own Department of Health Services has warned against eating them because they can kill you thanks to E. coli. And I'm not sure how I feel about raw meat sandwiches being so popular in a state that has produced two of America's most famous cannibals, and the third, the notorious Alfred Packer, lived right across the river in Minnesota. Curiously, in the novel, Hammett has Nick recommend a book to a young man who asks him about cannibalism in the United States. The book is Thomas Samuel Duke's Celebrated Criminal Cases of America, and the passage is about Alfred Packer. Hammett quotes several pages from it in the text. Perhaps he just had cannibalism on the brain. Personally, I wouldn't feed one to a dog. And of course, if you eat a cannibal sandwich and get a tapeworm, you probably will remain a thin man. Cheers.